Hi, I'm Lloyd Swain with Charter Channel 3, and thank you for watching today. It's always exciting to me to talk about this Delta High School, because I think it's the neatest thing I think I've ever seen and ever heard about. And we'd like to welcome our guests here today. First, we have the principal of Delta High School, Deirdre Holmberg, and three lovely students. Stevie Jean Luke, Oscar Romero, and Kyle Bergen are all various classes in Delta High School. So did to refresh everyone's memory about what is Delta High School and what does it do? Well, Delta High School is a STEM <coughs> high school, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. We're located in Richland, but we actually serve students from the Pasco, Richland, and Kennewick school districts. Uh, we've been open since 2009. Mm -hmm. We have freshman, junior, and um, sophomore classes, and we're recruiting our next group of freshmen for next year. So how do you do the recruiting process, and how can people take advantage of this? That's a great question. Um, my job is to go to all of the middle schools and touch base with every eighth grader in the Tri-Cities. So that's students of all levels. Um, Delta is loaded by lottery, so all students have the opportunity to come to Delta. And then we have parent information nights in each district. And then we also make appearances during lunch hours and things like that um, at the middle mm -hmm. schools. Mm -hmm. Do the students have to be in eighth grade? Can they enter Delta later on? We so think on. it's preferable that students enter as ninth graders but we do sure. we will entertain the idea of bringing on 10th graders if we have spots and right now we have about three spots uh, per district so we could add about nine new sophomores for next year and uh, but primarily we're seeking out freshmen which are the current eighth graders in, in here in the Tri-Cities. Well, what is the criteria for applying to attend Delta? Um, the only three things that students need to be is, el uh, is it eligible to go to ninth grade so they need to be eligible to go to ninth grade they need to live in the Kennewick, Richland, or Pasco school districts, and they need to be interested in this kind of school. So it's a small school, it's a STEM school, and we really um, would like slackers not to apply. <laughs> so, you know, we really just have those three cri criteria, and then the whole idea about, you know, you really do need to do your work and be motivated. You can be you know, a little bit behind grade level in all areas, but be highly motivated. We prefer those students over, over kids that really are not motivated to do their work or to learn. Sure. So you guys are not slackers, Stevie Jean, Oscar, and Kyle, are you? <laughs> Definitely no. not. So Stevie Jean, uh, tell me a little bit about wh why you applied and, and what do you want to do? Um, I applied because I saw that Delta was a, it was a new type of school and it had never been done before. And I was interested because I was like, I want to go try something new and not just do like the typical high school thing. So I applied because I wanted to try something new and it was a small school and I had originally come from a small school and then moved to a big town and then, so I was like kind of excited to go back to a small school and yeah, that's why I applied. So you were a junior, is that right? Yeah. And did you enter as a freshman? Yes, I did. So what do you think? Do you, do you like it? And uh... Yeah, it's been really fun. It's definitely an experience. Um, it's, I feel like it's way different than what my normal high school would have been like because there's just, like, the learning atmosphere is way different. Like, everybody that's there <laughs> is there to learn. So you have, like, you have more... Like your friends are more apt to help you, I feel like. Like we're all like always working together and always trying to like do a project. Like and we do projects together and we're always excited to do projects. So you don't get any you don't get any negative like any negative sayings from any friends or anything about actually doing your work. It's kind of fun. That's pretty neat. Now you uh T talk about the networking that you do. Is that part of that with the other students and then your involvement in the community? Um yeah. Yeah, we network with each other, so we're all pretty good friends because it's a small school. But we also um, we also connect with people from the community. So like Piananel and Battelle, we mm -hmm. connect with people from there. Today we actually did mock interviews, 
so we had people from um, multiple different places come in and the junior class got, went in and did interviews like as if they were doing a real interview and the, so the community really helped out with like giving us interview experience. You mean like a job interview? Is that what you're yeah. you're talking about? Yeah, and the people that were interviewing us were um, people who are going to potentially give us like job shadows in the future. That's great. Um, what do you want to do when you get out of high school um, or Delta school? Excuse me. <laughs> I personally would like to go to college and then uh, and get my master's in business association and then own my own business. And I think Delta is going to help me get there because it's because we work in groups a lot, so it's really helped me like build on my leadership skills. Sure. So I think it will help me. In do you encourage other students? I mean, do you have contact with them and, and would encourage them to apply and, and try to get into Delta? Yeah, my little brother is um, actually in eighth grade right now, so hopefully he'll apply and come next year because I think it's a great opportunity. He'd be a legacy then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Oscar, you uh, you attend Delta. You're a, uh, a freshman this year, aren't you? Yes, I am. So why did you decided to apply and go to Delta? Well, um, it's a small school and I thought that I would be, uh, it would be more work environment. Sure. And the teacher is not a teacher, she's like your friend that can help you. That's really good. Now, you're involved with athletics, is that right? Yeah. How, how does that work out with attending well, Delta? Well, you, you, go, you, you go to sports, but uh, you get there kind of late, and, but it still works out. Works out. What, what kind of sports do you, do you uh, like? I person? did cross country, but in middle school I did football and basketball and track. So, so as a freshman, how, have you, how, how do you feel about Delta High School and, and helping your education? So, to, so tell me about it. Why, why do you like it? I like it because it's small and then there's no like class joke, class jokers, you know, like the people say jokes in class and they, they, um, you're learning. It's, it's more learning because it, there's less people that are trying to get you focused. Yeah. It's, it sounds like you all are very serious about your education. And yeah. wh why, what is it that's so serious? Do your parents say that, or is this no. something you've always had? Yeah, it's not something I always had. And then, um, well, I want to get a good education, get, get my, get go to college and have a good job, family. Do you know what you want to do? Uh, yes. In, what do you want to do? I want to be an engineer. Uh, like a mechanical, electrical, uh, do you know what type of engineer? Electrical or a uh, social engineer. Um, and you you also get great contact with uh, like PNNL and some of the Hanford yeah. contractors. They're kind of a group of very smart folks out there, aren't there? Yeah. So that kind of inspires you to yeah, that inspires me. Like, I came to Delta because I had connections with them, to with engineers and stuff. Sure. sure. And like that, they could help me out. That's great. Kyle. And touch it back base with uh, what Oscar said about the one-on-one -on -one with the teacher. Yeah. I think that really helps. You know, if you have, say, the most of the rest of the class is getting the worksheet that you guys are working on, but maybe you're stuck on one problem where you can't quite figure it out. Well, the teacher, the classes are so small that, you know, you can really get a one-on-one -on -one with the teacher or even the classmates, you know, they're, you, can't, you don't have to be afraid to ask them for help. They're always there and willing to help you with, even if it's, you know, some really low-level question that you have or something, they can help you out with what you have to ask. Is Delta like a standard school day? In other words, you go, what's um, an average class day like? The class, uh, well, the class sizes are a lot smaller. smaller. Like, how many people are in the class? Um, I think my largest class maybe has 26 kids, 27. Do you start at 8 and go to 3? That's I, what I... Yeah, we, the, and the um, class lengths are a little bit longer, too. We only have four, four classes a day, and each class is an hour and a half long. Do you like that length? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> but, and, and it's really nice because, you know, then you're only going to a couple classes a day and you're not always jumping around everywhere. And the, the way the schedule rotates, you might have one class one day and not have it the next. 
so that you can get every class in all week long. Did you attend a, a public, an, another type of school before you attended Delta? Yes, I went to McLaughlin Middle School in Pasco. And it's quite a bit different? Yeah, it's a lot different. Well, um, just the overall size of the school sure. and everything and the amount of students that go there is a lot different because coming from McLaughlin, there was, you know, 400 kids in my class or whatever, and now you're down to 80 or 90 kids in each class size, so. And you have quite a number of guests that you entertain at your school and uh, quite a bit of attention from some pretty big dignitaries. Talk, talk about that. Yeah, now every Wednesday the sophomores and uh, freshmen have, or yes, every Wednesday of every week, they have uh, people that come in and help them. It's called tutorials. Sure. And they'll bring it, the student will bring in a question that they have, maybe a couple questions that they have, and the uh, tutors will go in and you'll have a little group of students, maybe five students per tutor, and you'll present your question to the uh, circle and they will ask you questions to find the answer to your question. Instead of telling you the answer, they'll make you work through the process to find your own answer. And also as uh, sophomores, we have career guest speakers that come in. So people from the community that are already have their career, maybe they own a small business or a doctor or something like that, they'll come in and they'll um, talk to you about your about their career and ha answer any questions that you have about it and it's really great. That's wonderful. That's absolutely great. Yes, it is. Um, so how many total kids are in the school now? We have about 250 students right now and uh, we are going to be bringing in another 120 for next year. And so ultimately, in you know, over five years, we'd like to have, um, you know, with five years from the start of the school until, you know, um, 2014, we'd like to get about 400 students into the school. So, you know, when you first open a school, it's, you know, people don't know it. There's a little bit of a, you know, parents are, are putting their students in there without really an idea of what it's like. You know, sure. Stevie Jean's class is pretty brave. They had no school. <laughs> they were the first ones through. They were the pioneers. And so now we have uh, three classes ahead of the current or the, the current eighth graders mm -hmm. that have gone through it. We've worked out a lot of kinks and things like that. So it's been an interesting process and a lot of work. So the first class of students is pretty small and um, the next two classes get progressively larger. So the freshman class is the largest class to, at Delta. Where is Delta High School? Where is it? It's in the Central Business District of Richland. It's actually right next door to the Richland Public Library and kind of in the center of the Cadillac complex. So we're kind of being surrounded by Cadillac um, and CBC Health Science Center is right across the street. Do you, you talk up the Delta High School? and? Yeah. Definitely. So yeah. what are the, do you give them sales pitches on <laughs> why you should apply and attend? Well, I, um, sometimes when I talk to my friends from other high schools, I ask them how it's going, you know, and mm -hmm. how class is. And most of my friends are in sports. And, you know, they ask me, well, how come you're still not doing sports or anything? And I tell them, well, I could, but, you know, I chose, now that I'm going to Delta, I'd rather, you know, if I have two hours of homework, I want to make sure that I put in the time and effort into the homework, you know, to get the best uh, result out of it. So sure. I get the most out of it. Well, what do you want to do after high school? Um, I think I want to, I'm going to go to college for sure and probably something in business, get my business degree and then um, from there um, maybe start a small business or yeah, I'm not quite sure. That's great. We appreciate you all coming over here today to talk about this is very exciting and I, I know the community really mm -hmm. is excited about Delta That's right. School as well. So Kyle, Oscar, Stevie Jean, Deidre, thanks, thanks for being here today and talking about this wonderful new school that you're you've been attending. So Thank you for having us. Thanks for having um, us. If you want information, you can go to the website and certainly find out information about recruiting. And uh, if you have a child that's interested, uh, it might be a good idea to, to check this out. So thanks again to all four of you for being here. I'm Lloyd Swain with Charter Channel 3. Thank you for watching.